Thanks, I do apologise. Right, thank you everyone and welcome to the planning advisory group meeting this evening. Um, there are no fire drills planned, but for those of us in the room, we know where the exits are, so thank you. Um, apologies for, abs for absence, I don't believe we've got any. Have we had this evening? Um, so, we will go on to declarations of interest and requests for dispensation. Um, <clears throat> I will start on this one. Um, planning application 0538 Gillimott Road. Um, I know the applicant, so I won't be voting on that one. Uh, Paddy? Uh, yes, 0440, um, which I gardens, I know the applicant. And 0568, there's been an objection posted by the Gordano Civic Society, and I'm the vice chairman. Thank you. So, none that I'm aware of. Oh. No, none that I'm aware of. None that I'm aware of. Uh, yes, um, 0568 Chianmore, Woodlands Road. I'm acquainted with the neighbour. Thank you, Nicola. Roger? None that I'm aware of. And none that I'm aware of. Thank you. Thank you everyone for speaking up because obviously the microphone is quite far from us now. So, um, <laughs> hopefully, everyone can hear. Um, the chairman's report, I'm just going to give a very, very quick update. Most of you are aware um, the skate park is progressing beautifully. Um, there are some new videos that have come out today. So we are hopeful to be on target for the soft opening. Um, I'm going to say May, June, just because I don't want to tempt fate with a uh, big launch sometime after that in the summer. So um, it'd be great if people can go and have a look because it actually it does it's looking amazing. I went down and met the guys a couple of weeks ago. And, uh, <coughs> yes, it's doing really well. Um, the other item is there has been a call for an assessment to provide a pedestrian crossing over Harbour Road by Kestrel Court. Some of you may recall that we had emails about it. Um, there isn't any cost associated in requesting North Somerset Council to assess the site. So we are going to ask for an assessment to be scheduled in, and it will be up to. Mm -hmm. North Somerset if they decide to go ahead with that one. Um, I may well change the order of the agenda very slightly on the basis that I am <coughs> assuming why um, some of the members of the public are joining us this evening. So if we move on to public participation, um, can uh, Dorothy, would you like to speak? Um, very, very briefly. Okay. You could go ahead. Oh, okay. Sorry, it's about uh, the application um, for Sky and Moore in Woodlands Row. Um, it's just that um, I am in agreement with the um, objections which have been submitted. Um, we are concerned about the effect on the conservation area, and we're particularly concerned about the possible effect on Anchorage, which we've. Um, put forward as a non-designated asset. Um, I think that it would um, have a detrimental effect, a particularly detrimental effect on the um, on that um, property, which is much lower than Cheyenne Moor. And there are problems with parking outside on Woodlands Road. Having said that, um, I do applaud the fact that people in Portishead are trying to create jobs and uh, and uh, well done but I think this is probably not quite the right place to be doing it thank you okay thank you Dorothy Bernard I've just seen your note in the chat so you've got no microphone so I'm guessing that you're not able to speak so Anne did you want to have you got anything that you'd like to say during our public participation No. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just jump forward to that planning application, if that's okay, while Dorothy is on. And then, Dorothy, that means if you don't want to hang around for the whole evening, you don't have to. Um, so this is 0568 Ch Chiang Moor, is it? Is that what you say? Um, when I looked at this a couple of days ago, there were, I think, three objections online, but there are now five. Um, I know my comments 
on our spreadsheet seem to have disappeared. Um, oh we, <laughs> we, I think, are all of the same mind from what I can see, other than maybe one councillor. We've kind of looked at it and we've had some emails as well from a resident, um, which unfortunately I think were originally sent out from a different email address so it kind of went into our spam folder so the originals mm. so we got another one yesterday um my proposal on this would be that we object um because that is what the majority of councillors have said has anybody got anything they'd like to add or say or comment before we a move to vote and b then discuss what objection we're giving um Personally, myself, I, I didn't want to put objective because obviously a lot of people know of my environmental um, support and I didn't want that being brought forward at the time. So that's why I didn't put it objective at the time. Okay, so you've not commented on this so one. Not so commented, was, ah, okay. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, okay. Um, so I think first of all then, we, I think we're probably all pretty much in agreement, aren't we? That yeah. unless anybody, like I said, has got anything else to say so that we vote that we object. So should we, do we need to <coughs> vote? Lost track, we need to vote on that first of all, don't we? Mm -hmm. So I propose it's excluding the ones that are given a interest. So that's me. Yes, so that's Nicola and Paddy, yes. So I will propose that we object to this application. Thank you, Roger, for seconding. All those in favour? So that's everybody apart from the two abstentions. So we need to come up with some wording. Um, as I said, we have got um, emails and there are a number of objections online. My concern. Sorry, Janet, Sue had her hand up. Oh, I yeah. do apologise, I didn't see your hand. <laughs> Go on, Sue. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I noticed that it, so if I say there is no mention of being in Eastwood Conservation Area and also a local nature reserve and Woodlands Road is part of the England Coastal Path and North Somerset's Tidal Trail and there's no mention of any of this in any documentation in that app in that application i would go on more but i'm sure others <laughs> think, well I've, I've written quite a lot but i mean others may want to add something all else. right thank you so we may come back to you janet i've got grave concern over the fact that uh, there was uh, when it was built they were surprised to see what they had given a, a three-bedroomed two-story house it actually turned out into a three-storey, five-bedroomed house. Um, and uh, there was concern about asking the people to knock it down in the first place. And to suddenly, um, on top of actually making it twice as big as it should have been, they're now trying to add even more to it. And in the, in the place where um, they weren't allowed to add anything in, in as far as the double garage was concerned, because it was um going to look over the house next door they've now decided to put something else where the double carriage was refused yeah i think it's a tricky one i think we probably although we we do know this i think it's difficult for us to comment on the previous application in the sense that yeah, yeah some were common. shocked yeah. however i agree that maybe we can comment that um there it looks like this um um application is for an area where which is where a previous application has been yeah, turned down. Yes. So I think we can yes. include that definitely. Yes, Roger. Yeah, the um, the the objections which have been posted online are, are look to be very well yeah. considered and thought through, and and cover most of Sue's points as well. So I mean, I yeah. yeah, exactly. So I I would I would say that really we want to be looking or pointing more Somerset to to, to yeah. actually read those and um, and deal with them rather than. So what have we got? So, the, sorry, Paddy, go on. Um, I know I won't be voting, but I think the fact that the one of the objections actually from the Gordania Civic Society cites the two um, North Somerset um, policies, which mm. it will um, be counter to at the end, 
um, it might be worth referring to them. But as Roger said, they've, they've yeah, I think that the, there's there's an awful lot of information. There's some really detailed objections. They've so yeah. very well. Yes, so which is why I I put in my little new book. Um, <laughs> Asked North Somerset Council to take note of all the objections as all are valid to this site. Perfect. Right, what have we got so far, Sharon? Or do you want some more comments? I know, I think if we're. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> no, I think no, if we're no, 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 there isn't that much. More. I think if we're referring them to the objections, so what have we got? Okay, so we've got no mention of being in a conservation area and an SC's tidal trail. It's already been largely extended. A previous application for the site has already been rejected. There are two NSC policies referenced in the Cordona Society objection and ask NSC to take note of all the objections as they are valid to this site. Yes. So, yeah. Um, one that I think is not there is lack of off road parking yeah. for the business. Yes. Yeah, they, they do have that. Right, right, okay. Yeah. Um, Dorothy, that's one of the things Dorothy mentioned. Yeah, so, exactly. that part. And uh, overlooking and overshadowing the neighbours, the neighbouring property yeah. at the anchorage and anchorage two. Yeah. And the list of requirements does is um, is incorrect as they do need a bat survey and a street scene yeah yes i saw that <coughs> on the spreadsheet so i think if we include yeah. include that um just to say before we go to this as well i'm i will respond to the resident that's emailed us after the meeting as, as this stuff came through yesterday i thought i'd wait until after this meeting and just let them know what we've done what we've agreed um but i will also just check because he has sent us some photos I'm saying he I can't remember. I think she, it's she, 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 she was it. Yeah. Sorry, that's my fault. Um, they have sent us some photos, so um, I'm going to ask that they make sure that those have been forwarded to North Somerset as well. Because obviously, when you fill yeah. in the objection on the portal, you don't have that option. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'll make sure that they send those as yeah. well. Mm -hmm. um, yes, this has happened in the past, and I think the only way that they could get to North Somerset was actually sending them yeah. direct. So yeah. I will suggest that. Right, Sharon, can you just very quickly read out what we've got and then we will vote, I think. Sorry. Got people waiting. Mm. I think it's I think it's slowly letting them in. Oh, it's just Anne joining us lots of times. Oh, I've got something else actually if you want. Do you want Is it sure? Go on. <laughs> Sorry. Um right. The, the property used as a business with several cars parked on the road, difficult for bigger vehicles to pass and dangerous for, for walkers, um, as many use this road at, um, to, from the Lake Lakelands to the mar marina. Now I had something else that was on there that I, th that that I think I've that. actually added oh, that to that the spread, spreadsheet, but I haven't actually yet. Thank that you, it so is that it is difficult to obviously walk so past visitors, yeah. Yeah. parked cars yeah. and also lorries or bigger bigger vehicles trying to get past. So can you just quickly read out what we've got and then we'll so go. Sorry, sorry yeah. So it's a bit of a mix. It's a bit of a mix, Matt. That's fine. No, no mention of being in a conservation area unless the tidal trail has already been largely extended. The previous application for the site has already been rejected. The two NSC policies referencing the Gordon <laughs> Society objection. I think it would be a good idea to be. Could just maybe we'll do we'll, those we'll, names yeah, we will. and add those so yeah. we'll specify what they are in DM the objection. Numbers, yeah. yeah. Um and ask NSC to take note of all the objections as they are valid to this site, overlooking and overshadowing the neighbouring properties, Anchorage and Anchorage 2. Yeah. Um and the list of requirements is incorrect mm -hmm. as they do need a bat survey as they do a street scene. Mm -hmm. Visitors parking on the road will make it dangerous for walkers. Um, yeah. yeah, and actually something that <clears throat> excuse me. You missed out, you know, yeah. when I first spoke, is Eastwood Con Con Conservation Area, which you've got, a local nature reserve, and it's also part of the England coastal path. And I think that is, you know, quite important. There's another 
What's that, so, what's that local? Um, England lo yeah, uh, coastal path. And then the uh, local, local nature path. reserve. Yeah, yeah, yeah got that. Coastal. Part of the England coastal path and North Somerset's tidal Tidal Trail. Yeah. 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 And I think it's outside the, the boundary of, of, of settlement boundary. Settlement boundary. Um, it's all in the objections. Yeah. yeah. Is it? Yeah. yeah. I think. Yeah. All of that. I think yeah, we yeah, could yeah. be here all night. Yeah, it's can just we? Sort yeah. of so are we happy with what we've got now? Are we OK yeah. with that? So can we if I propose that wording as long as we include those policies? Yeah. 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 Um, that's fine. Can I, thank you, Sue, for seconding. Oh, all those in favour apart from those <laughs> that are voting. <laughs> yeah. That was what we also <laughs> done a second for the objection. Oh, yeah, I did, didn't I? Yeah. So thank you. That's right. Fine. Thank you. And Dorothy, if you want to stick around, you're more than welcome. But if you, you. like to disappear, please, we won't be offended. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Right, I think, hang on, let me just check. Minutes of the last meeting. Anybody? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anybody got, yeah, I need to make sure I'm in that. Anybody got anything they want to? No. No, all, all okay. So if I propose that we sign and agree those, can I have somebody to second? Thank you, Paddy. All those in favour? Okay. Thank you. Right. <coughs> We're ready. Yeah. 23 7 Road. We have no objections. There are no on, there were no online comments when I checked a couple of days ago, so I propose we say we have no objection. Can I have a seconder? Thank you, Bob. All those in favour? Thank you. Oh, this one's not quite straightforward. 13 Woodhill Road. So mm -hmm. highways and transport object. I I'm not particularly <laughs> bothered by highways and transport's objection on the basis we've had other planning applications where we've strongly objected and highways have gone, oh, no, it's fine with us. <laughs> I believe North Somerset Council will take that into account when they make their decision. So on this one, um, although I know there are quite a few comments on here, um, so you've put some comments on here about the being contrary to policy DM24, which again, I believe North Somerset will determine. That actually was on the North Somerset <coughs> Transport and Highway yeah. <coughs> Report. Yes, so it was just put, you know, worth putting it Yeah, in. no, absolutely. I mean, I went, I wasn't sure on this one, and I, I changed my mind a couple of times, and then I went to have a look at it. And there was also a comment on our spreadsheet that actually it's a, there's not a huge amount of traffic or pedestrians along there. And um, if you look at all the houses along there, they all need to be super careful when they're coming out of their drive. So I had no objection to this one. Um, we currently, on our spreadsheet, have I, I noticed it's got object from me. It should have no objection. OK, in that case, that makes it my job even easier. Are you changing that one? Who's gone in there to change that? Oh no, nobody. Nicola, somebody's fiddling I'm in there. Just, I'm just <laughs> <looking across. laughs> I can see Nicola flashing across my screen. Yeah, I know, so I know, I know. I'd, so I'd in that case, possibly. in that case, that's there were five of us that have no. Hello. Sorry. Sorry. In that case, there were five of us that had no objection, and there were two people that objected. So um, I don't know if anybody would has anything they'd like to add, but my proposal would be, would be that we say we have no objection to this proposal. You're going to test that? Can I just add that I, I know how difficult it is along Woodhill Road to get, um, to get access into and out of those houses, and that this looks like quite a sensible. Yes, I think we, we could say something as to why. Uh, I believe this is a sensible proposal, and yeah. um, I don't, I don't think that uh, they were objecting on grounds of visibility, weren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah they, they wanted it moved. moved. They said they didn't object to the principle when mm. they wanted it moved, but I, I think their um, objection is not valid. Probably won't say that. I'm not. No, no. <laughs> but so, but we. I do think we should say something. Yes. I think we should say that we have no objection. Well, I think what we have to consider here, and this is the problem we have, and this is the problem we always have. The reason we are here is because we know the area. Yes. We know Portishead. We know these areas. We're easily able to visit them. The highways and transport report will have been put together by somebody who's probably, and I could be wrong, never been there. Mm. So they will have looked at maps. They will looked at kind of things online. 
kind of you know that that's our knowledge of that whole area i think is quite important here um so that would be my kind of view so i think that we that we could say is that we 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 agree in principle to the the um the entry onto battery road um and start from from there that you've got you know so you think yes this is good i, I mean it's probably already as it is but they just want to move it slightly but what highways are obviously concerned about is the actual display and mm. and visibility of somebody either coming along there and not everybody goes along there at 20 miles an hour um and also for walkers as well and there's a lot of people that's what i disagree with yeah yeah and i mean I they are going everybody slowly. who leaves their driveway along battery mm. lane should should be looking is, very is going, carefully as you do when you cross the pavement from yeah. any driveway yeah and i i think they're, they're just um it's valid. It's, oh, most, it's, it's all local traffic that you, goes along there. Yeah, hardly anything your, goes on there. When we were camping a bit on there, because you proposed it, we didn't have one single vehicle along there last oh, year. Yeah. Yeah. So, just going back to um, what we were saying, then, because obviously we need to vote on this one, um, I'm going to propose that we have no objection. Um, I'm more than happy to say that we have no objection um, subject to, to the um report from transport and highways being taken into consideration because like they will do that anyway yes yeah of course they can, will can, can we say something about it the, the road is is very um lightly used uh, mm. yeah right so we have no objection um, um because going back to what you were saying uh, um as we know the area very well yeah we're aware that um there is not much traffic on that road and mm -hmm. not many pedestrians um and people have been coming out of those back um, they've yeah. been coming out of the back yeah, anyway. There's, there's not been any accidents. <laughs> so, um, what have we got? Do you want to put no objection, aware that this is a quiet road? I think that's probably fine, isn't yeah. it? We're aware of, yeah, um, our local, yeah. No objection, aware that this is a quiet road. Yeah, yes. I think that's, that's fine. I don't think we need any more than that. So, I propose that. Can I have a second over that one, please? Thank you, Janet. All those in favour? <clears throat> So that's 0334, and I assume 0335 in that case. I'm always wary of commenting on listed building consents because I don't feel I know enough about it. But in theory, we've said we have no objection. Yeah, so I propose no objection to that one as well. Can I have a seconder? Yeah. Thank you, Sue. All those in favour? Thank you. All right, <clears throat> 72 Heron Gardens. Um, Bernard, yeah, right. no, I'll just Bernard, just to let you know, I have seen your notes, so thank you. And Sharon will give me a nudge when we get to that one. Thank you. Um, 72 Heron Gardens, we had no objections and there were no online comments, so I propose we have no objection to that one. Can I have a seconder? Thank you, Bob C. All those in favour? Thank you. Janet, are you voting on that one? Thank you. Right. One Brendan Road. Um, there are the majority of us have no objection. Um, I do note that there's a comment about lack of amenity space. I would just say Portishead Marina. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so unless anybody would like to add any more, I will propose that we have no objection to that one. Anyone want to second that one for me? Thank you, Bob. All those in favour? Where is that one, Sharon? Just checking. No, you're all right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, right. Two Woodside Gardens. This one, I. Is that you, Paddy, that was abstaining yes. on this one? So, this one, all other than Paddy had no objection and there were no um, online comments. So, I propose we say no objection to that one. Seconder, thank you, Sue. All those in favour? Thank you. 10 Cape No Close. Uh, the only comment online is from the immediate neighbour supporting, and we had no objection, so I propose no objection to that one. Thank you, Janet. All those in favour? 
Um, the probably common one, Sharon, is that actually one of ours? I don't think so. I don't no. think it is. So I don't think we have a comment to make on that no. one. Um, so we won't discuss that one. Can um, we just put a little note there? That yeah. We, that we've discussed it and it's out of yeah. out, out of our yeah. Okay. Yeah. Currently. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> the the not appearing. Um, At the most. It's uh, AOC. <laughs> oh, yes. So. Right, 19 Waterside Park. Uh, again, there are the only comments online are comments support in support. There are two comments in support. Uh, none of us had any objections, so I propose no objection. Can I have a seconder? Thank you, Bob. All those in favour? Which Bob was that? Bob C, sorry. Okay. okay. <laughs> right, 05388 Guillemot. I am abstaining on this one. There are no online comments. Nobody that commented had anything. Um, nobody that did comment had any objections. So if somebody else would like to propose that one, please. Roger? Yeah, what, thank you. Then, Roger? Proposing no objections. No objection, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And the second hit by. Okay. Thank you, Sue. And or something was somebody else abstaining from this one? Was that you, Nicola? No, no, I I didn't fill it. I don't know. I must have. No, it. somebody. I thought somebody said they knew the neighbour. Oh, five, three, eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Was it you, Nicola? I think it's no, you, Nicola. No, that was Moore. Try and Moore. Oh no, you okay. Did, okay. I think somebody said oh five, three, eight. No, I did, but then somebody else did. Um, okay, so all those in favour of no objection on that one? So it's everyone except me. Um, should TPO is the next one. Hold on. So now we come to 4A Woodside Gardens, and that's the one that yeah. um, the gentleman online yeah. is. I just wanted to make you aware of the objections yeah. from neighbours on the planning portal to 0472 4A Woodside Gardens. Thank you. Yeah. So having looked um, more recently, um, I, I originally, when I looked at this one, had no objection, but there's a really detailed objection from the neighbour. Um, and I then, having read it, and like I said, it's very detailed with an awful lot of information on there, I now, um, I've changed my vote to object. And there are currently four of us that object to this one, and a couple that at the moment don't. I don't know if anybody is able to just summarise, because they haven't been able to read the uh, objection. No. One of the comments says it contravenes the North Somerset Council Development Management Policy DM3. I can have a look quickly. Hold on, Paddy. It's very detailed. Mm -hmm. um, it's one of those ones that meant that, um, yeah, it was almost like we just go with what they've said. I think. When, when did the objection go on? Fairly recently, I think. Hold on. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you in a second. I looked at it this morning and nothing's going on. In fact, there are now three, three on there. Objections. So there was only one when I looked a couple of days mm -hmm. ago, and there are now mm -hmm. three. Okay. Um, all objecting, and I mean, they may be, sometimes they can be from the same person. But um, I'll give you very briefly. So, um, lots of technical information, which is really useful. So <coughs> scale shape, layout, context. Um, I'm just interested to know why the, when we looked at it before, yeah. we couldn't see the problem. Yeah, so it must the, have been something we missed. Some properties. Um, well, this one was one that stood out for me. The original developer was careful and diligent to organise the cul-de-sac so that every property has open aspect views. Now, obviously, we know that not every, you know, view is no not entitled to use, but excellent light, good degrees of privacy with few windows directly facing windows of neighbours, complex matrix of burdens and benefits on the land. Um, an observer making a tour around the cul-de-sac will know that the buildings towards the top of the cul-de-sac have dormer roofs, whereas those that are overlooked have shallow pitch roofs. Um, so that was quite an interesting mm -hmm. comment. Um, yeah, it's mainly scale, shape, layout. Mm -hmm. um, the this one again which i had noticed the dna document states that two-story houses make up the majority of the built contact along woodside gardens and actually that's not true there are some but they're on the higher ground um yeah. and the lower ones are all single story mm -hmm. um or they're two-story but they've got understories garage mm -hmm. and storage storage rather than 
and there's others that have been extended outwards and downwards, keeping the reef ridge line. Um, there's obviously concerns about setting a precedent. Um, so yeah, I mean, really, really detailed. Lack of dimensional information on the plans is quite a crucial one. Yeah. From somebody else out of character with the area. Risk of creating a precedent has been mentioned a couple of times. Um, street scene. Um, I think the architect's been a little bit sneaky with their 3D modelling as well. <laughs> They've not actually shown what it would look like with the building. Mm -hmm. So there is a lot of information there. So I don't think with all, with those objections online, I don't think really we have any alternative but to say that we object to this proposal. Um, I don't know if anybody else has got and, anything. And right. after we've assuming that we vote to object. Mm -hmm. I would then say, as we've already done elsewhere, just referring to the ask, yeah, ask yeah. North Somerset to yeah. to take those comments sure, in, sure. into account. So, if I propose then that we object to this application, um, do I have a seconder for that one? Thank you, Bob Um All those in favour? That's everybody. And I think, yeah, I think on this one because there is so much information there. We just need to refer North Somerset to. Oh, he's saying there are different. I think, people. yeah, I think he's going uh, back to say there were different. Yeah, people. thank well, you. I think you've picked up in any case, haven't you? Yeah, because yeah. some, sometimes people can comment and then comment again when they think of more things. So it's, and it's not clear because we don't know the names and addresses. So thank you. Um, yeah, so I think we just say that North Somerset Council. Um, oh, sorry, I just thought of something on the previous one. Another one. Never mind. Um, North Somerset Council need to take very clear notice of the online objections do you want me to mm. yes and that's why yeah. yes um that's, I, that's right nick can do it in any case it's not a problem is yeah. it with the other one i meant no. um mm. technically no mm. yeah, cause, cause we've already voted. because we've already voted i might yeah. have to yeah but, so yes can we propose on this one that we object they, we refer North Somerset to the objections and that we ask the ward councillor to call it in should officers be minded to approve. Is everybody happy with that one? Yeah. Mm. Okay. I'm, I'm, ha I'm happy to second that. Thank you, Sue. And all those in favour? Thank you. So is the concern about whether the ward council is voting with the other one? Mm. Sorry, it's better than not voting. <laughs> Sorry. Is it the concern with the, about the ward councillor calling it in with the other one? Right, yeah, I was planned to do that. And didn't. As he can call it in <coughs> on his own say so, though. Can he? Yeah. Okay. You need to let him know. Yeah, because yeah, he's away for how long? Two weeks. Right. Thank you, everyone. Okay, that one moved. So moving <coughs> on to thank you for um, joining us, Bernard, as well, yeah, and for, for, for highlighting that. Thank you. Um, so we move on to Mulberry Avenue. Um, we all have no objections and there are no online comments for that one. So I propose that we have no objection. Thank you, Paddy. All those in favour? And try and more we've done. I will contact Tim on that one. Um, and then the next two, although they've got Slade Road in the middle and that threw me totally. Uh, 0584 0593 117B High Street. So this is another one where there's Mr. Building consent. Um, no online comments, and we all have no objections. So I assume we have to do them separately. So if we do 0584 first, I propose no objection. Can I have a second? Thank you, Bob B. All those in favour? And then 0593 again, I propose no objection. Thank you, Roger. All those in favour? Thank you. Right. Thank you, everyone. Right, we'll move on to the late planning applications. Um, so let's just have a look. I can see the late planning do we have to note that we're not, do we have to do anything about the ones where we're no statutory okay. consultation? I just, let me just say that as you go. Yeah. So the first one I've got on my list, which you may not have on your list. No, they won't. They're all in red. They won't have seen you. I'm just waiting for the two ladies at the end to finish chatting. Yeah, I, I, um, I've already, um, I haven't had a chance to look at these two, sorry. 
Right, so 72 Nor Road is a TPO, so we've, we're, no, we're not a statutory consultee. <coughs> um, um, Clarence House, that's another tree one, so we're not a statutory consultee on this one. And Nick obviously has had all of these, hasn't he? The tree yeah. Ones. So uh, 27 Exeter Road, again, we're not a statutory consultee because only yeah. neighbours have the opportunity to object, so even though a few of us did look at that one. Uh, 6 Beechwood Road. Um, since this was printed earlier, we have actually now had four of us look at it and have no objections. So can we go for that? Yeah, if you want to. Yeah, because that's enough, isn't it? Yeah. So I propose to save it carrying forward until next time. We have no objection for that one. Can I have a second? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Sue. And all those in favour, and if you haven't looked at it, then don't worry if you I feel like you don't want to vote. No, I'll that's abstain fine. because I haven't looked at it. Okay, so that's a one apart from Nick now. And then we had another tree protection order one, so we're not a statutory consultee on that one. Again, Nick will look at that one if he's not already. Um, we have a few extras that have been added, one of which we are aware of, and I think Paddy made a very good point on. So this is to consider the radio base station upgrade proposals for Maxima Limited at Hanover House. So there are Works required include the replacement of three existing antennas with three new antennas, the installation of a microwave dish, the installation of equipment, blah, 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 blah. I don't think we've all, all seen it. Um, we need to comment by the 12th. Um, hold on, so I have seen your hands, don't worry. Mm -hmm. Let me just... um, yes, so Paddy, you made a point that um, Historically, um, they've been asked to, I can't remember the wording you said. So well, a, a while ago, and it was a few years ago, the um, because I used to visit a resident on the top floor, and she said that the other residents who were on the top floor were suffering from strange illnesses, mm -hmm. um, and they were concerned that they may be as a result of all the antenna on the roof. And so all I'm suggesting is that we ask for North Somerset Council to run some tests to make sure there is no excess, whatever it is, radiation. Yeah. On these and I mean, I have no idea if that was the reason or if it's psychosomatic or whatever. No, well, their, their, their report that they sent through did say that they're allegedly designed to be fully compliant with public exposure guidelines um, to do with non-ionising radiation protection, but I don't think it would be um, unreasonable to ask North Somerset to, to do whatever tests are required on that one. Sue, what were you going to say? Yes, I was going to say that um, I remember somebody telling me who lived there that the people who lived on that top floor, when it was windy, moved down to friends further down the block because it was so noisy oh, and with the wind blowing through the yeah. through the various yeah. so it would be lovely if those antennae could be moved elsewhere rather than on the top of the block which is not going to happen no. but yeah. i think that um you know, you're all concerned away. about a health hazard yes oh yes um, yes that and that is very important and i had not heard that so mm. thank you so i think um because this is a pre-application isn't it yeah. yeah, consultation. So I think we need, I think we should, um, go on. No, no, we, we'll go back to the, the um, Maxima, because that's yeah. who's, who's written mm -hmm. to us before they put their application in. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we will say, uh, we will say that we've, in an idea where we'd like, owing to some health concerns and noise pollution, ask them to, if they would um, provide, uh, in, undertake an assessment. Mm -hmm. Have we left it? Yes, yeah. I think so. To mitigate against those two things. Yes. yes. That's fine. Do we need to vote on that or is it just uh, because it's consultation? We just yeah, still need to vote on it. So I propose that we do that. Can I have a second time? Thank you, Sue. All those in favour? Thank you. The next uh, consultation is a call for gypsy and traveller sites. So North Somerset Council have uh, put out a call for sites for potential new gypsy and traveller sites. Um, uh, landowners invited to put forward land. We um, officially are supposed to consider whether we have any suitable land stock. 
and there are guidance notes around when considering sites. Um, I don't know what, whether anyone's got any comments on this before we re come to a recommendation. I just say, no, we haven't. Yeah, <laughs> and I would second that. Well, because, I mean, I don't think that we've got anywhere big enough, suitable enough. Well, there's always the football club. Yeah. No, I don't think. I'm so. joking. It was a joke. So this recommendation, is <laughs> which we your recommendation, must take up. This is why I haven't read it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah we submit a response do we have to even submit a response to somerset council as it's a call for science we don't have to submit a response do we so my 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 proposal would be that we don't respond to the call for sites on the basis that we have no suitable language yes. we, should. Yes. Yes. we should yes yeah. yes respond and say we, we have, have considered it and we have no my understanding of a call for sites yeah. is that you only needed to, yeah is was if you had any yeah, yeah. yeah. but if it is she wants another coffin <laughs> Yeah. Sure. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. so we yeah. respond saying that we have considered it and we have no yeah. no suitable sites. Okay, I propose yeah. that. Can I have a second? And Paddy, I'm surprised you didn't put your hand up. <laughs> <laughs> As you were the one that deserved yeah. it. I'm going to let you second that one. Okay. All those in favour? Thank you. Uh, right, there is another consultation which is for a dropped curb on Briary Bank. There are two recommendations. Um, I am going to suggest we go for the first one. The two suggested recommendations are that we support the provision but write to the local district ward council to ask for support similar to the ones we've done in previous meetings. The alternative is that we support it and ask the town council to agree to finance the cost, which would then have to go to full town council because we don't have the authority as an advisory group to mm. agree that. I would recommend the first option. I don't know if anyone has any alternative view on that. No, in that case, I propose that we support the provision of a drop curb and write to the local district ward councillor to ask for support to provide the provision. Second, Nicola. <laughs> no, that'll be me. <laughs> it's just yes. it's in my I it, just, you. it got me when I saw it um in consultation with the district ward councillor. I thought this is the first time I've heard of it. Right. So, so we've got second Okay. Um, so go on. All those in favour? You did email about this one, didn't you? Yeah. And it's on the agenda. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So she's. So I wait to get your email. Yeah. <laughs> You've had it. <laughs> and the agenda. Uh, right. Planning applications that don't require consultation. Do we need to? We don't need to go through those, do we? No, okay. Just note. Just note them. Just note them. Just note them. Yeah. And that's I think. And then there's some uh, decision six Drake's way was refused why i don't know it just said him it was refused you probably yeah, if you look on the planning portal it will tell you um can i ask it was six ranch way was that the one we um yeah. objected to yeah yeah sadly is it going to be turning turning yeah. yeah. so matters for the next meeting any late planning applications consultations anyone else got anything that they want to add to, they think to the next meeting mm -hmm. yeah i think we'll probably be bringing something from bob for us did you ever get yes, the maps? Yes, we will. So yeah, we'll be bringing the maps. That will be bringing. Have you got the maps? Because I didn't get. I've maps. got. Yeah, I have got something from him. I need to go through Wendy. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so yes, there will be um, something brought forward about okay. double lines next, double yellows next time. Yes. Are you going to mention the flood resilience report? That's the working party went to great lengths. They did, and did it, Roger? Did I? Re I didn't reply to your email, did I? I think you did. Um, did I? Sure. I'm not sure. I haven't seen one, but that doesn't mean to say that you didn't reply. But it David. was a lot of work. <coughs> so thank you. I did, didn't I? Yes. I thought I had, and said to just do go ahead and go ahead. You did yeah. say thank you. Yes. So yes, thank. Did you, are you wanting me to publicly thank you, Paddy? Yes. Thank <laughs> <laughs> Roger and Bob. Mm. But Sorry. I think it is right that that the people who have done it are thanked. No, I agree. No, I it's, it's, thank you. It's the other way around, really, because in the last minutes it will say that we were tasked to do it. Yes. And I would like it recorded. That you've that done we it. We did do it. Yeah. Yes. So <laughs> I'm going to add, add that. I'm going to back it back through to chairman. Chairman. Is that okay. Yeah. We'll add that back into the chairman's report. Uh, on the I assumption do that Roger did do it. So what did you decide? 
Well, um, there is. You were sent it. Yeah, yes. you've, you've had the email. With, had the email. And you yes. were asked if you agreed. And I think I remember now. And I said, if you haven't heard anything by the end of the week or something, yeah. Roger, so, so please submit those responses. Sure you will have got right. it from me, Janet. Roger only sent it to I think you and I. And don't yeah, say a word. It, and then I. <laughs> thank you, Kim. And then I forwarded it to the Roger, whole group. Roger, and Roger, Bob C, and Paddy were in the group. Thank you. Heartfelt thanks to all of you. So, the date of the next meeting is Wednesday, the 3rd of May. That'll be a strange one, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. And the meeting is now closed at 8.18. Thank oh, you, everybody. Just found it. Is that the record?